Cyberpunk, oh snap. Ray tracing, baby. Oh snap, totally worth the wait after all these years. What, uh, what's this? Is this part of the game? What, what the f Is that what keeps happening to you? You just bought Cyberpunk 2077 and you're trying to go live on Twitch and stream for all five of your viewers. And next thing you know, you look over at OBS and it's red and it's yellow and it's flashing because you're dropping frames left and right. Your chat's blowing up because they're saying, hey man, you're lagging, we can't see anything. Like what's going on? Can you please fix this? Well, I'm here to help you fix that problem. You see, if you are streaming on a single PC, it's already very hard to accomplish that successfully and still run a game at decent settings. But when you take a game like Cyberpunk and you put that on a single PC setup and you try to stream it at decent settings, maintain a 60 FPS frame rate and still go live, yeah, you're asking for problems. Hello and welcome back to Erock on Deck. My name is Eric, I go by Erock, and today we're talking about how you can live stream Cyberpunk 2077 on a single PC and not have any drop frames. Okay, so first things first, we need to address the elephant in the room. There are no settings on the planet that can help you if all the hardware in your PC is five, six, seven, eight years old even at this point. Live streaming is very taxing on the system and a lot of people don't fully understand that. If you're trying to live stream a game and play that game, and also have Discord running, a web browser running, and your chat is going off in Twitch and all this other stuff all on a single PC, no matter what CPU you have, that is a lot of stuff going on. The first thing that you need to address is how old is my hardware? Assuming you have somewhat fairly recent-ish hardware, like within the last, you know, two to three years, maybe four tops, there's a good chance that the settings I'm about to show you will really help out a lot. Really fast and as a kind reminder, I just wanna say I do live stream two days a week on Twitch. I would love to have you come by, be a part of my community, and I love to get to know everyone that comes in my chat. So if you have any questions about PC optimization or live streaming or anything like that, feel free to come on by, ask me anything you want, and I'll be more than happy to help you out to the best of my ability. If you're looking for something a little bit more 24 seven, then you can also join our Discord. We have multiple streamers in there who are quite knowledgeable and they're all very friendly and they will help you out the best that they can. So feel free to come by and be part of our community. Okay, so first things first, you need to make sure everything is up to date. Make sure you check for Windows updates and make sure that you have all the latest updates installed for your Windows operating system. The second thing you need to do is make sure OBS is up to date. I literally launched OBS to record this video. Boom, there was an update. I was just using it last night. There was no update. So sometime between last night and this morning, there was a massive update. So make sure your OBS is up to date. Another update that you can do that a lot of YouTubers completely forget to tell you about is your motherboard. Most motherboards receive updates on a routine basis, so make sure you go and you check for the latest updates regarding your motherboard and you get those installed as well. That's also gonna help out. In summary, make sure your Windows is up to date, your OBS is up to date, you have the latest uh, graphics drivers for your graphics card, and also make sure your motherboard is up to date, and that's gonna be your foundation. Okay, so tip number two is you need to get a baseline of where your system currently stands in regards to playing Cyberpunk 2077. This means without going live, just simply playing the game, how well can your system run the game? Can you run it on medium, high, ultra, ray tracing on or off? What is it? Like you need to know this information. And so you can either use the NVIDIA panel to auto optimize your settings, assuming you have an NVIDIA graphics card, or you can do what I did and use Digital Foundry's most recent video where they talk about the best PC optimization settings for Cyberpunk 2077. Once you have your settings figured out, you need to look at the frame rate. The goal here is to get as close to 60 FPS as possible. Now, if your system without going live, can run the game above 60 FPS, definitely use those settings because you want to get above 60 FPS so that you have a little bit of headroom when you go live. Because the moment you go live, your system is going to take a performance hit and you're going to lose some frame rate. And the last thing you want to do is ever drop below 60 FPS while streaming. You want to stream in 60 FPS and you want to game in 60 FPS. So make sure if your system can go above that, that you do so you have a little bit of headroom to come down. Tip number three is to use GPU acceleration. Now it's technically called hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, but that's a mouthful and I can barely remember it. And I think most people call it GPU acceleration, but either way, it's the same thing and you wanna make sure you turn it on. And here's how you do that. Go to your window search bar, type in GPU. You should see graphic settings pop up, click on that. If GPU acceleration is available for you, you will see a toggle where you can turn it on and off. Make sure you turn it on and you will need to restart your PC in order for these changes to take effect. Before you do that, 
click on the browse button down below. Now you wanna navigate over to where you have Cyberpunk 2077 installed and you wanna find the .exe file and choose that as your option. Now when you're back inside the graphic settings, you're gonna click on Cyberpunk and you're gonna choose options. And now you're gonna choose the high performance option. Now restart your PC to let all the changes take effect. GPU acceleration is a new feature in Windows 10 version 2004. And after applying it, I was able to see that OBS was able to run significantly better, like even better than admin mode. So definitely make sure you choose this option over admin mode. However, if you're using this, you can no longer use OBS as admin mode because these two options will conflict. You will have to choose for yourself if you want OBS admin mode or GPU acceleration. For me, in my case, after testing both, GPU acceleration was significantly better. Tip number four is to run OBS in admin mode only if you're not using GPU acceleration. If GPU acceleration is not an option for you for whatever reason, or if you have just decided that you don't want to turn it on for whatever reason, then run OBS in admin mode because that is going to be your next best bet for getting optimal performance. Tip number five is a little bit out of order. This really kind of falls into the settings situation, but then when I was thinking about tip number six, I realized this kind of goes hand in hand with it. Tip number five is to make sure you're using game capture over display capture when you're capturing your gameplay for your live stream. Now game capture is significantly less resource intensive when compared to display capture. So it's gonna free up a lot of resources for your PC and it's gonna allow your OBS to run better, your game to run better. Basically, you're gonna drop a lot less frames. So just make sure you're using game capture. The only caveat here is that game capture can be a little bit finicky with higher frame rates for some reason, especially on Cyberpunk. So make sure you go back into your Cyberpunk settings and you cap it at 60 FPS. And the chances are you're probably not gonna get too far above 60 FPS anyway, so you're not really giving up a lot here. So just make sure you cap it at 60 FPS, you're streaming in 60 FPS, and you're using game capture over display capture. These next few tips and tricks are gonna be very simple, straight to the point, not gonna take up much of your time, but they definitely help free up some resources for your PC, and they're honestly not really needed, so let's just go ahead and get rid of them. Go into your settings and turn off the Xbox Game Bar and all associated recording features with it. So mic recording, video recording, auto capture, clips, whatever it's called turn all that stuff off you don't need it it doesn't need to be running in the background and it's going to help free up resources for your system anyway the next thing you can do is go and turn on windows game mode i know game mode used to be very buggy it didn't work right and it became an industry standard to say no turn game mode off because it's just going to hurt your games but microsoft has patched it and now works the way it's supposed to work and most streamers agree that game mode is now safe to use you should now see a performance increase by turning game mode on so make sure you turn it on okay so the next thing you need to do is to set cyberpunk as priority underneath your cpu processes in your task manager the only downside to doing this is that it resets every time you close out of your game if you want to use this as a performance benefit you're going to have to manually do this every single time you launch your game so it's really up to you if you want to use this feature or not the next thing you can do is go into your window settings and look for power options and turn on a high performance mode so for me i actually have an amd system so I have AMD high performance as an option and that's what I'm using if you have that same option I encourage you to check it a lot of people also use AMD balance that's not a bad option either but high performance does exactly what it's supposed to do it's it's high performance so if that is an option for you turn it on unfortunately I'm not really sure what the Intel system side of things look like if you have some type of high performance option make sure you're using that option lastly and definitely don't overlook this one because it, it sounds too easy right it's like it's one of those things it's like oh that's too simple that can't that can't really make that big of a difference no it definitely makes a difference i cannot tell you how many times i've had to deal with a laggy stream and drop frames inside of obs all because i didn't do this one simple little trick disable the preview window inside of obs there, I said it. I know no one wants to do that because everyone wants to monitor their stream in real time. You wanna be able to know exactly what you're looking like, exactly what's going on. I get it, I get it entirely but it is not worth the performance hit. Oh man, there's no way that makes a big difference. It does, trust me, it does. I've watched almost every Harris Heller video. I've heard him say this multiple times and I ignored it every single time. I would run a stream and I would drop frames and I would lag and I would check everything under the sun except this one little thing. And then one day I decided to turn it off, boom. I immediately saw a massive increase in performance. I wasn't dropping as many frames. Everything was running so much smoother. Disable preview window. 
At the end of the day, just make sure you're doing that because it's definitely going to free up resources. And when I did that, it definitely helped me out a lot and I saw a big performance difference. Oh, and uh, as a bonus tip, don't run ray tracing. I know, I know, Cyberpunk was meant to be used with ray tracing. To an extent, I agree, but it's too demanding if you're trying to stream it. If you're running the game offline and you're playing by yourself and you're not streaming it for people, fine, run ray tracing all you want. But if you're trying to go live and you're trying to make sure you're not dropping frames and you're giving your viewers the best experience possible, do not turn on ray tracing. It's going to be way too much of a performance hit. Maybe, just maybe. If you have a 3080 or a 3090, you can get away with turning it on on your stream. But I can tell you for certain, if you have a 3070, because I do, and if you have anything lower than a 3070, you are not gonna be able to go live, use a single PC, run Cyberpunk, and have ray tracing running and maintain 60 FPS. You're not gonna be able to do it. You're gonna have to turn ray tracing off. So yeah, as a bonus tip, turn off ray tracing. So right now you're looking at footage of me playing Cyberpunk at my best optimized settings with ray tracing turned off and I'm live streaming. And as you can see, I'm getting a consistent 60 FPS inside of the game. And when you look at the OBS preview window, I'm barely dropping any frames. Technically speaking, OBS is still gonna say you're dropping a few frames here and there, but here's what you need to understand about that. These frames are not always entirely accurate, and here's what I mean. OBS will register a frame drop if you simply Alt-Tab out of the game into another application. So if you switch between Cyberpunk over to OBS because you wanna check something really quickly, that's gonna register as a drop frame. But technically speaking, you didn't actually drop any frames. You may actually drop a couple of real frames here and there, but in the grand scheme of things, if you've rendered 100,000 frames and you've only dropped 40 and it was one here, five minutes goes by and you dropped another one there, that's not gonna be detectable by the human eye. No one's going to see it. On your stream, it's gonna come across like you've never dropped a single frame ever. When I say no drop frames, I don't necessarily mean that the OBS window says zero, but what I mean is that you don't have any red or yellow text indicating there's a problem and your FPS marker is holding stable at 60 and everything on the stream is running as smooth as it can possibly run. So there you go. All right, everyone. Well, that's my best stream settings for running Cyberpunk on a single PC. And I hope you learned something and I really hope this helps you. If you use these settings and it makes a difference for you, will you please let me know in the comments below or better yet, come by my stream and let me know live. I would love to know. I really wanna know if, if this helped you out. If you enjoyed this video and it did make a difference, please hit that like button. It goes a long way in helping me out. And if you're new here and you like content like this, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this because I try to upload weekly. I don't always make it weekly, but you know, I, I prefer quality over quantity. So hopefully you're enjoying what you see, but hit that sub button and come back for more videos in the future. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. And I hope to see you in the next one. E rock out. Got him. He's dead, bruh. Hearing him say Jackie uh, reminded me of Chris Tucker saying Jackie. <laughs> man, the old Rush Hour movies were the best, man. Let's just focus on getting home. We gonna die, Lee.